there it is. You were hiding it behind your bag. We've got to get away from these kids. Seriously. Okay, so this is the box where Ellie's going to choose the winner soon. But before we do that, can we get away from these kids, please? Okay, yeah. so everybody, welcome. And this is Ellie. Ellie, why are you here today? Um, I won the competition. You won the competition, <laughs> yes. So we're going to do a free driving lesson for Ellie today. So yeah. it's really nice to see Ellie. Um, so it's nice to actually finally meet you yes, and um, we've had a little discussion about where you left off with your lessons. Yeah. So it seems like you've covered a fair bit, but yeah. it's been a big gap, 11 months or 10 months, something yeah. like that since you've driven last. Yeah. So obviously it's going to be very nerve wracking to get started. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got a rubbish truck in front of us. We've got people around. It's nice and sunny. Ellie's never driven this car before, not yeah. even for one second because I'm just... Time. I'm a mean guy. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to get away from this, then we're going to choose yeah. our winner, and then we're going to have a look and see what else we want to do. I think we're going to do some parking, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. So to put this car into drive, you probably already know because Ellie's a subscribed yeah. viewer and she's probably seen how people put it in drive. Yeah. Probably not for a while. So <laughs> there's no lever here. Yeah. Your lever is on the right. So down. Excellent, well done. So you've seen the letter D for drive, you push down. Just got to hold the brake very firmly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then push the lever very firmly down. You now see that the D is highlighted on the dashboard, so you'll yeah. know you're in drive. When you feel happy to move off, just gently releasing the brake, you know the car will move forwards. Yeah. And we'll just follow the road ahead. We're only just going to go a little bit down the road, we're not going too far. Yes. Still nerve wracking though, isn't it? Yeah, after a long time it is. Mm -hmm. So okay. take your time. Whenever you feel it's safe, we'll just slowly move off. Yeah. Okay. Right, so just keep a little bit on the left. There yeah. we go. And best thing to do when we're moving off, I always recommend signaling. Yeah. yeah. Just in case, you know. So that car would know we're going to move away. Yeah. All right. Um, there's two left turns coming up, Ellie. This is just like when you exit your driving test centre. Yeah. So I'd like you to start to brake so you can feel how the brakes are working. Yeah. And then we're going to do our mirrors and signal left, please. Excellent. And just after this red car, I'd like you to turn left. Shortly after, we'll stop and then we turn left again. A little bit of brakes. There you go. Nice. A little bit more and just slowly stop. Very nice braking. Well done. Okay, so now that we can see, because it's a little bit hard to see here until we reach this junction, yeah. the examiners call this the triangle. Yeah. So you know where your test center is, where we just moved away from? Yeah. It's identical to this junction. Okay. okay, and at the beginning of your test, you might be asked to turn left and left again. And that's what we're doing now. So if it's safe, I'd like you to turn left again. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, we'll go a little bit further down the road. Uh, the two golden rules of driving is less space, less speed. Yeah. So we could slow down now if you wanted to. Funny how Ellie's keeping complete control of the vehicle and accelerating. So somebody said, oh, I'm nervous. I think I've forgotten everything. And you're accelerating through tiny little gaps and keeping complete control of the vehicle. I don't think Ellie has anything to be worried about. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll wait and see. I'd like you to do is just pull over somewhere on the left for me. Try to avoid driveways if possible. Yeah. I'm not focused on you being perfect. So just do your best. I think we're still slightly on the curve. Yeah. So just move us up to the next one. Oh yeah. You felt that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Now Ellie hasn't put this car into park yet. Yeah. So keep your foot on the brake. Yes. Yeah, pull it forward, isn't it? Uh, no. Um, there's a button on the edge. It's a bit weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it in. 
and then you'll see P is displayed on the dashboard. Yeah. And you can completely relax. There's no need to put a handbrake on in this vehicle. Oh, you push that good. button. It is a great car, done. isn't it? Ellie loves the car. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it's a good car. What what reason, why is it so, that you like it so much? I think because I have a rubbish car. <laughs> oh, right. Well, you, you don't actually. Down. It's a nice car, though. It's a cool car. I like it. Yeah. Fiat 500, everybody. Uh, <laughs> just um, some useless trivia now. If anyone knows who Michael Schumacher is. Yeah. You do? I, I he, think I do. He had the Fiat 500. Did he? Yeah, I think he's... See, it is cool. Yeah, it's a very cool <laughs> they car. They get a lot of stick, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they're really nice. I like them. There's one right in front of us. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Ellie, uh, good for parking. Um, now what I'm going to ask Ellie to do quickly before we crack on with your parallel parking, we'll, we'll use your Fiat 500 to do your parallel parking, <laughs> is I would like you to... Choose drum roll, winner. please. Choose the winner. Right, so... We have a nice box here full of names for everybody that's entered the draw. And Ellie, if you wouldn't mind, try and get that in camera. Yeah. Would you be able to choose a winner for the free driving test booking, please? Yes. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Did a better job than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I picked out about five. So the winner is... Jake. Jake McClaney. McClaney. All right, Jake. So um, when you see this, if you see this, please do DM me either at Insta at Two Day Pass or write in the comments or if you can WhatsApp me, even better. All right. So uh, just to say the na name again, Jake. Jake McClaney. Jake McClaney. 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 Let's have a look. We'll show that. Yeah, sometimes it's very hard to pronounce. So Jake McClaney. McClaney. Maybe. Everyone can see that, right? Let's get that in focus. Please tell us how to pronounce that in the comments down below. <laughs> All right. Well done. So, Jake, get in touch and we'll get your driving test booked in. So, if anybody wants to win a free driving test booking, we're always doing competitions here. Every time the channel reaches the next thousand subscribers, which we just did. So, thank oh, you, guys. Um, we will announce another winner. All you need to do is subscribe and enter in the comments down below. Free driving test to enter the draw. Okay. So, let's crack on with your parallel parking now um, just before we do that I'm gonna slightly change one of the camera angles okay. to give us a better look at this camera for the reverse camera when we do our parking yeah. and then this one outside I'm just gonna change slightly so that people can see the position of the vehicle a little bit better in the road yeah. so just while I do that would you mind switching the engine off so it's safe for me to exit the vehicle a few moments later and we're back <laughs> okay so Ellie what we're gonna do yeah. Hopefully that guy doesn't steal our parking, otherwise I will get out and send him to the moon. Okay, would you start the engine, please? Yeah. Ooh, come on, get the air conditioning going. All right, hold the brake down very firmly. And press down. And press the button again, one more time, oh. just to get the engine on. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if the brakes aren't down firmly, sometimes it won't go into gear or it won't start. So the brakes always got to be on nice and firm. Yeah. Okay, Ellie. Two options, and I know which one you're going to choose already. Option one, we move next to the car and you just give it a go. Yeah. Option two, I talk you through it. Talk me through it, please. <laughs> I'm shocked. Usually people go for option one. Okay, yeah. no problem. So first step, all I need you to do is to move out and go stop next to your nice little Fiat 500. 500. Yeah. Snap. So remember we talked about the signals. Signaling. We yeah. wouldn't, mm, now we would, because there's a car, car coming. coming. But if no one's around that will benefit, it's fine. We don't need to. But I just recommend we always do, just in case okay, someone, someone comes, comes along. Yeah, yeah, that's my outlook on the situation. No, that's my fault. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, well done. All right, nice positioning, roughly about a metre from the parked car, okay? Yeah. Right, now what we need to do is use reverse gear, which we haven't used before. So yes, there's someone behind us. We're going to show them that we're reversing by selecting reverse gear and pushing the lever up. Now gently start to move back, please. Just checking to make sure it's safe. 
until we reach halfway past this vehicle. So if you halfway. keep going, yeah, to your mirror is like where the end of the car is. Yeah. Perfect. Now full lock left. Good. Double check again. And then start to, oh, see they're going around us. So hold the brake on, just keep the car still. Yeah. So if the vehicle does start to pass, we stay still. We must make sure it's safe before we start to reverse. Now we can see there's another car coming. So we're just going to hold until this car has passed. Yeah. Once this vehicle has passed, that's when we're going to just double check, make sure it's clear. And this is a key point of observations before we steer because the front of the car will swing out. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we know it's clear. Gently allow the car to move. Keep the steering engaged. Nicely done. Let's see if we can, oh yeah, you've got good angles there. Now the cheat code, this is what's been told to me as a cheat code, okay? Yeah. Uh, this little tiny yellow line, come to when the line almost meets the pavement. So allow the vehicle to keep going until the line almost meets the pavement. And then when you get there, we'll stop. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Now we're gonna steer full lock right. I teach full lock, full lock, and I teach dry steering. I know I'm not supposed to teach dry steering. My excuse for this is, yeah, my excuse-itis, right? I suffer from excuse-itis, so I don't, okay. Uh, we always stop, we always turn as exactly the same amount, so stop, full lock. We always end up in the same place. If we move and steer, which is kinder to the car, it leaves variables. So we can move slightly quicker, steer slightly slower. I think everyone gets the idea, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we stop and lock, we're always gonna end up in a similar position. Yeah. So I'd like to full lock right for me. And these thick yellow lines here, these are your tires. Now we can see, sometimes it's nice, but we can see the gap is a little bit larger. Very easy to fix getting closer to the curb. Yeah. What's difficult is to fix getting away from the pavement. That's harder, okay? So now we've got extra space, no problem. Just gently relax the steering and allow that gap to close slightly. So the yellow line is roughly about a drain width or a little bit closer there. Can you yeah. see the still gap? Nice. We're going to triple check, looking all the way around. And then we know it's clear. We can gently start to reverse. Is that vehicle moving? It is. All right, so just wait until we see it stop. It stopped, now we can start to move. Gently does it, good. And then maybe a little bit less steering just to close that gap. If these vehicles start to move, stay stationary, allow them to pass. So we just hold the brake until everybody's passed us. Yeah. We've got quite a few vehicles coming now, don't we? They weren't there previously, but they're coming now. This guy that's been quite patient with us has passed, yeah. but we still have a few more vehicles. Wow, lots of vehicles. Everyone's out today because they're nice and sunny, I guess. Yeah. All right, now, so. Now, I know that, yeah. um, mm -hmm. I watched your video, so I know that you say that this is okay to use in your test, but I just Good. want to double check. Yes, so it's totally allowed to use the reverse camera on your driving test. That's absolutely fine, okay? Okay. Nice observations, early, well done. And then looking out the front, the car looks nice and straight. We can stop. Yeah. And don't worry about the driveway on this occasion. Okay? Yes. Congrats. Thank that was you. a nice maneuver. So, Ellie, can you tell me how did you just do that? Um, I pulled forward towards the car. Mm -hmm. Put it into. Oh no. Then we reversed backwards until the wing mirror was equal with the front of the car. Okay, good. And then full lock left. Yes. Reverse back until the yellow line was near the pavement. Correct. Then full lock right. Mm-hmm. And then keep going till the car is straight. Thank you very much. Well done. And with the camera that you asked if you're allowed to use it, yes, you can use it. Yeah. And then that's really helpful because that allows us to see exactly where the tires are exactly where the pavement is and if we need to adjust it shows us where we're adjusting to yeah. so that we get a very accurate understanding of where we're going so i understand why people might call it a cheat code mm. because you're just seeing into the future you know where, what's going to happen so you can 
yeah. cheat, I guess, but I wouldn't call it cheating, and it's no. not cheating, okay? And most cars have mm -hmm. these kind of things Good. now, don't they? Yes, they do. Uh, it's becoming very common, and one thing that's worth mentioning for the driving test, yes, you can use techno technology on vehicles as long as it doesn't take control of the vehicle. Yeah. It's fine, so audio, visual aids, excellent. But remember, the examiners want to see that you make effective observations. So that means while we're doing the manoeuvre like we did, do you remember all of that bit where yeah, I was saying about looking around? So. so we're still doing that as well. And that's yeah. it, pretty much, okay? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do one more. Okay. Uh, we'll have to go find a different road, a different car, because we need a situation where there's no other parked vehicles on the right. So yeah. there's that space in case people need to pass like we yeah, had here, yeah? Okay, yeah. before we drive on, I'm going to go get my little friend yes, over there on the pavement. Him. A few moments later. Let's go find another vehicle. When you're ready, start the engine. That one turned the engine on. Is, it, that, is it just like how hard you press it? It's how hard, yes. You hold the brake and how hard you press that button. So yeah. it's the same with the gear as well. Got to have a hard brake and a hard pull or push. Yeah. And yeah. Just be really firm with it, it's fine, yeah? Otherwise yeah. it won't start, okay? All right, when you're ready and it's safe, I'd like you to drive on. If you have any questions, just ask. Yeah. Nice observations, excellent signal, Ellie, well done. Very good control and steering, well done. What I saw was very nice is Ellie's actually adapted to the brakes in this vehicle very quickly. They can feel a little bit sharp sometimes, so it was nice. It's very really gentle, smooth braking. Uh, the secret of braking is doing it as early as possible, so you don't have to put too much at the end. At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn left. Yeah. Good mirrors, good signal, well done. Excellent. Nice observations. Well done. It's quite hard to see down this road, isn't yes. it? With all the parked... Yes. I'm glad you mentioned that. It's really important that people, anywhere that you're taking your driving test, but you know, your driving test is here, know this because we call them closed junctions. Yeah. Visibility is really bad. Okay, Lee, I'd like to take the next road on the right. On the right. Mm -hmm. Raisins Hill. Okay, so going back to the bit that Ellie was talking about, the closed junctions, um, the two rules that I mentioned earlier, I only mentioned one, which was the less space, less speed. The second one is this, less C, less speed. So if we apply those two rules, less space, less speed, less C, less speed, everything else in driving just kind of flows. So that really does simplify driving in general. Okay, what I'd like to do is pull over and stop on the left here, Ellie, please. Don't worry about being perfect. Just as long as people can pass us. That's really nice parking, by the way. Well done. All right, and just um, put in park. Lovely. Uh, do me a favor. This guy just wobbled a bit, so I'm going to go make sure he's straight. Um, so would you switch the engine off one more time yeah. while I just go and do that real quick and then we're going to do the parking again. Yeah. A few moments later. Okay, Ellie, restart the engine, please. Yeah. And when you're ready, I'd like you to move out, stop next to the nice car in front and then reverse park within two car lengths and keep a reasonable distance from the curb. There are driveways there on this occasion. I'd like you to disregard the driveways 
as long as you finish the exercise, it's fine on this occasion. When you're, <laughs> so I'm just in my examiner mode there. When you're ready, I'd like to move out, stop next to the car in front. Yeah. Nice start position. If you have questions, just ask. Otherwise, in your own time, Ellie, I'd like you to reverse park. Oh, oh no, full left. Oh no. Reverse. Back. And then full left. Okay, decent manoeuvre, yeah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got a bit confused there. Okay, what was the confusion? Um, I don't know, I think it was, um, I tried to straighten up at the end, because that was, that was how I was like kind of learning before, but I think I maybe overreached a bit. Okay, so, um, you mean, when you say overreached, do you mean... I thought I was, I think I was a bit too confident for how I felt. Okay. I was quite nervous. <laughs> All right. Well, you've done a very good job. Not straight, though. Good. So <laughs> that is something we can fix now. Yeah. So now that you've seen that you're a little bit at an angle. Yeah, I thought I'll, I thought I'll just stop because mm -hmm. I don't want to, like, hit the curve or anything. And then good. we can kind well of go done. through it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this part here, we call it a shunt. Okay, where we just move forwards and we just get a little bit closer. Hopefully he's not going to steal my camera. Probably doesn't even see it. No, didn't even see it. Almost kicked it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, anyway, so we're going to do the shunt now, that moving forwards and steering closer to the curb. Yeah. yeah? If you have any questions, just ask. Otherwise, when you're ready, just gently move us forwards and steer closer to the pavement. Straighten the vehicle. I wish we could see that beautiful smile, um, but yes, you can probably tell by the eyes. It's amazing. Well done. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> so you can see the gap here with your blind spot mirrors. Yeah. If we had reverse gear again, it would come up on the camera. You could see that position. So there's a couple of different ways of telling. Yeah. Really nice. Before we move forward, you could tell you're at an angle by looking out the front of the car. Again, maybe using blind spot mirrors might show angles as well. You seem to pick up on that information and then you act on that information, okay? And then you move the car forward, straightening it up and then you're finished. Well done. Yeah? Okay. Good observations as well. Thank you. Okay, so when you look back at this, you'll see how you're doing your observations as well. Yeah. Now I can hear the comments section. Can you hear it, Ellie? Just about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's saying something like, yeah, but... What if we don't have a reverse camera? How do we do it then? Ah, I heard you, don't worry. Okay, we'll show you how to do that next. Well, I just keep an eye that my camera's still there. Yeah. Okay, um, so Ellie, mm -hmm. challenge time. 
How do we do this without a reverse cam roll? How you've probably done this before, haven't you? So, yes, a long time ago, but all right. So what was the uh, what was the bit that you were uh, taught before meeting me? Um, so I was told to pull up to the car next to to us, mm -hmm. like um, how we did it just then, mm -hmm. but to again line up the wing mirror with the front of the back of the car, mm -hmm. full lock. Okay. Do observations. Yeah. Checking observations. Yeah. And then look in the mirror. Yes. As you full lock, and yes. when there's like a little triangle. Yes. You full lock the other way. Yes. And then straighten up. Sounds really good. <laughs> um, Is it? Excellent. I'm not sure if I got it a hundred percent right. So it's been a long time. It was. I would say a hundred percent right. So there's a challenge here for you. Okay. We do it without the camera. Okay. <laughs> or you can still have the camera there and use it and use the triangle. Mm. I think I, I think let's try it without the camera. Without the camera. Okay, because challenge accepted. Yeah, I don't have a camera in my car, so I've got to know how to do it that way. Yes. Also, another really important point about your vehicle, yes. the Fiat 500. Yes. It's a very short wheelbase. Yeah. Any vehicle that's got their wheels really close to each other can turn easy and quicker. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So if you're trying to outrun the cops in your Fiat 500, just bust a U-turn. <laughs> Bye! Hopefully I won't see that. <laughs> no, definitely not. Maybe Michael Schumacher if he gets better. Yeah. Ho hopefully, pray yeah. to God. If anybody does know some information, please put that in the comments because I'm... I want to know. All right, anyway, so we're going to do another reverse park exercise. The challenge is no camera. So what we'll do is we'll blindfold Ellie. So you're going to do... Uh, <laughs> we'll blindfold the camera. We'll definitely have the police after us if we do that. Blindfold yes. me. You do not want to do blindfolded driving. Please just know I'm joking about that just in case someone does take me seriously. Okay, <laughs> when you're ready, I'd like to move out, stop next to the car. If you want to reverse back a bit yeah, first, please do. Is it because it's uphill, it's going quite slow? Yes, that's correct, well done. Yeah. Gee, I'm already trying to look for the camera. Oh, I've forgotten everything. <laughs> oh, it's hard because I can't see the triangle on here. What are you oh, using? Yeah, the small or the, the big? The small one. Okay, I get it now. Still getting used to the, the little... Can you see the pavement in the big mirror? No. Okay, so... Tell me if it does appear. Use your circle mirror, do the triangle thing. Just yeah. stop when you think you're at the right angle. Like this? Yeah. Has it appeared again, the pavement? The big mirror? I don't no. know. I never taught this, but this is another method. That's why I'm asking. So if it hasn't, don't worry about that. Just do your triangle bit, yeah? Because the yeah. triangle bit's looking really good. Too close, Fine, stop. So when you see that happen, this is how you park in real life. Yeah. Really sharp angle to get into a really small space. Mm -hmm. We meet the curb, we we'll stop. Yeah. So we don't go on the curb. It's fine. And then remember the shunt. Yes. Now dry. with this shunt, yes, dry steer all the way left for full lock now. 
because we've got very limited space from the vehicle in front so we're maximizing the steering yeah put yourself into drive and then you'll probably move about that much and you'll be straight okay <laughs> okay do you see what i'm saying yeah and you're in a tiny little space then aren't you yeah i mean with your fiat 500 you're going to fit into any space in London, so yes. you see what I'm saying, good so car. Handy for that, so. Everybody, round of applause for Ellie. Thank you. Very <laughs> nice. Golf clap, everyone. Golf clap. Amazing job. Well done. Okay, so you yes. did that without the mirror. <laughs> I did find I was looking for it, though. So. Yeah. It's nice to have it, it isn't is nice it? To yeah. Have. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I did never have a reverse mirror. My driving history mm. until I got this vehicle now that I've got it it's very tempting to use it yeah. a lot yeah but we mustn't do you see what I'm saying we've got to you keep must know how yeah because yeah, technology sometimes people rely on it it does happen on test I'm not gonna lie yeah so somebody will rely on the camera 100% for the maneuver Come back to the test center, the examiner will mention it. You looked at the camera the whole way through the maneuver. You didn't make effective observations. So for that reason, you've not passed today. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. it is very important that people know that technology is good. To... We like it, yeah. but you've got to be careful. Well. Yes. Okay, well done, Ellie. Very, I very good. <laughs> right, right. Just before we move off, though, I need to go grab that camera. So oh, one yeah. more time, we'll just switch the engine off. Thank you. Promise this will be the last time. <laughs> well, I'm not leaving.